Ah, hello, me hearties. A very good evening to you. It is me, Scotty McClure, first lord of the Net World Stop Broadcaster. A humble man. And we're live on Facebook Live just for you. We're live also over on YouTube. And we're multi streaming and multitasking. So if you'd like to come and join us, you're very, very welcome. This is definitely live. All right. This is not. Uh, any sort of watch party or anything like that. We are live and we are on big style. So do come and join us. Paul Francis Carroll has joined us. Wonderful to have you with us. Uh, Peter Connolly, Carol Carlos Donnelly, Anne Hartness, James Skelly. Fantastic. Lovely to have you all with us. Craig Mitchell has joined us. Welcome, Craig. Uh, welcome to every single one of you. Lovely to have you with us. Guys, this is amazing. We're multi-streaming now. Uh, we're also live on YouTube. I'm just tipping you the wink, letting you all know what's happening. And uh, do come and join us, youtube.com forward slash user, U-S-E-R forward slash Scotty McClue 1. Peter Connolly, good evening, Mr. McClue. Stuart Murray is there. Ian Johnston's watching. Lovely to have you all with us. Terrific. Scotty, I'm just in the door. You should be outside enjoying the sun. It's not going to last. Oh, it'll last. You worry too much. This is um, slipping down, this stuff. I'm needing to tighten uh, tighten the screw. Abdullah Muhammad Isa. Good evening, sir. Lovely to have you with us. Amida Cartledge Saeed. Hi, Scotty. Hello, Amida. Paul Francis Carl. Good evening. Fancy a battle of the organ soon. Facebook matey boy. Yes, wonderful, Paul Francis Carl. One of the world's finest pipe organists. We're live on YouTube, guys, if you want to join us. The wonderful Sean McIntyre's watching, Gary Blair. Hello, my good sir, says Carl Carlos Donnelly. Thomas Hamilton, hello, Paolo. You've had a good day. I hope you have, Tom. Fantastic. Guys, that's us welcoming the Facebook log. The YouTubers asked for you, so it's all by agreement. Haiwa Hamadamin is watching. Dinky doohiwa. Mike McCabe, tell us where you're watching from, guys, if you're watching round the world. Come and join us. We are live. Ian Johnston. Hi, Scotty. Hi, Ian. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Do. Fantastic, folks. So everybody's joining us. Come and join us on YouTube as well. Tremendous stuff. Hi, Scotty. Hello, everybody. Uh, now then. Hello, Scotty. It's me, says. It's me. It's you. It's me. Uh, so there we are. Of course, the sun's going to last. Send the Facebookers a link to your YouTube channel. Think of the dollars, says the Water Relief. You send them at Water Relief. Get on there and put the link on. There we are. Mary Hill, Thomas Hamilton. Hello, good evening, says Hiwa Hamadameen. Hello, Hiwa. Lovely to have you with us. Scotty Martyr, hello from Florida. There we are. We're being watched in Florida on Facebook. And we are, of course, live on YouTube. Hello from Sunny Gurak. Says Stuart, Stuart Murray, dinky do, welcome. Nicky McHugh, hello Scotty, what do you think about the weather we're getting? It's been beautiful, stunning. The only thing is I was grass cutting today. It was pretty hot. All right, Scotty, for the halfway. Andy Fortune, lovely to have you with us. Back to the YouTube. Hello, hello, it's me, says Ray. Hello, Ray. Welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. Now then, Scotty. Do you think you could be on the chase, the quiz show, as one of the chasers? Yes, Glenn, of course we could do that. How do do, Mr. McClure, says Grady Beckle in Canada. Dinky do, Grady, lovely to have you with us. Uh, I don't like the courgette spaghetti, says Lee Fly, it's too soggy. Has anybody ever had courgette, which is apparently courgette spaghetti? Share your post. Scotty, are you growing a beard or are you acting the goat? Gary Blair, I'm neither. The beard is growing itself. I just stopped shaving. Nicky McHugh's getting Thomas speeding up. Tony Max here, dinky do Tony, lovely to have you with us. Darren Johnson has joined us and is watching live at Facebook Live, and we're live on YouTube. Absolutely live streaming. Another time to wipe down. Whoa! Guys, you must tell me when it's comfort break time. Otherwise, how am I going to know? John Hepburn, loving the beard, Scotty McLean, top notch. Kafi Axmad, Kafi Axmad says, hi. Hi, Kafi. 
Lovely to have you with us. Where are you from? Do tell us. Tell us all where you're from, guys. I think Scotty is growing it for Christmas to be Santa Claus. Yes, that's right. Uh, do you think that life will be back to normal by October, says Ray? Ray, I don't think life will ever be back to normal, but it depends what normal is. I think that's the thing. Guys, sharing and sharing and sharing till 10. What happened to your forehead? How do you mean? What is wrong with my forehead? There we are. You would just be seeing where my brow was furrowed, Ashley. Ashley Smedley, David Diston's watching. Gordon Stilling has joined us. Good evening, Gordon. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Facebook Live, streaming with multi-streaming with YouTube at youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClue one. Come and join us. Can everybody watching YouTube send a link to Facebook, please, to the live stream? Was life ever normal, says Joel. Very, very fair question, actually. So there you are. If you've just joined us, guys, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live streaming and uh, absolutely live. Paul Francis Carl, can we Skype soon? I've got a few issues to debate. The problem is I can't put on the Skype because Facebook's got my other device, if you see what I mean. But yes, we can Skype soon and answer to your question, but probably not tonight. David McMillan's watching. Welcome, David. Lovely to have you with us. Everybody on YouTube. Right, here we go. I meant coronavirus. Do you mean the coronavirus will go? Ray, if people start observing the rules and stop taking the law into their own hands. I mean, that carry-on in Brixton was absolutely disgraceful. Shocking. 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 Um, not too keen on the fake pastas, but pea pasta is good. Been trying to find it on the internet since lockdown started. No luck, says the wonderful Ian429, a very clever man. Tampede and Nicky McHugh. Thank you, Nicky. Just at the Queen's Street. Just finished work. Will you be roasting, Tam? Put it on in the train and entertain the passengers. Aaron Foy, Dinky Do, Michael Farquhar. Get the music on, Scotty. Ian Johnson. We can't put music on because of copyright. Or I would do. And um, I could play you something. Digging the beard, mate, says Pike Man Paul. Karmic McCusker, Dinky Doo, lovely to have you with us. Welcome, everybody. I doubt the normality of life when Trump became POTUS. Right, there you go. Although somebody was on tonight about the mess that Bush had left America in. You know, that war in the Middle East, all that stuff. Scotty, what are you having for dinner? I've had it, Ray. I had two sausage rolls from McClue's Pies. Very nice. Ian429, and mentioning two shops we don't normally, but it's a good positive there. Little and Aldi do it. Ian429 says the wonderful Joseph Aitken. Facebookers need to migrate to YouTube. Yes, well, they might come and join us on YouTube. Thomas Bean says, can I have a shout out for my mother-in-law, Sandra? Sandra Mulraney Foy, she's one in a million. I would think so, Thomas, absolutely. And she must be very switched on because she thought you'd be a fabulous son-in-law. There we are. Alan McDonald's watching. Paul Francis Carl, a bit of Handel's Largo, Padre. Wonderful. Xerxes, there we are. Uh, that's what I meant. Play some Scotty, says Ian. All oh, right. Can you give a shout out for Callum for being a legendary guy? Thank you, Scotty, says Connor. Absolutely. How have you been? Stephen Mitchell, Dinky Do, Spencer King, Grizzly Adams. Oh, yes. Wonderful. Come and join us on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClue one. That was played at my father's funeral, Handel's Largo. Beautiful, Catherine. I treated myself to a subway tonight, Catherine. Right advertising, but very nice. Yes, the train's running on time. Uh, so Ralph, so, so Ralph, Scotty, says, uh, says, Ecos, so Ralph to you. Scotty, I'm picking up for lunch tomorrow from a local establishment, pork 
apple, truffle, maple, and chili sausage rolls. Woo! That is absolutely, that is lush. Uh, he had played it to himself in Camber's Lang Church as a young boy. Lovely, lovely piece. Scotty, send me a sausage roll and a vegetable lattice slice. Vegetarian lattice slice and a rich chicken sauce. I wonder when the thunder and lightning will come. If we could have had music, we could have played the thunder and lightning polka. Anybody know who that's by? The thunder and lightning polka. Who's that by, guys? Uh, so there we are. Shout out for Marky Higgins, please. He's watching. Good as his friends, Big Plainsley. Plainsley, Harriet Plainsley, we know Plainsley. Can I get a shout out to Falkirk? Says Darren Beard, of course you can, Darren. Hi, Scotty, lockdown's finally evening. What's your opinion on this? We need to be very, 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 very careful, John. So there we are. Absolutely no nonsense there at all. So there we go. I think, yes, I don't think I'm missing anybody on here. Wonderful stuff. We're live, live streaming on Facebook. And we're also live streaming on YouTube. So do come and join us. And please subscribe to the YouTube channel, everybody. It's so important. And even a wee like from you makes all the difference. I also popped up today at 10 o'clock in the morning. What is normal now, says Anthony? It's hard to stay sane in an insane world. How is it vegetarian in a chicken sauce? You've got it in one ACOS. That's the dichotomy. It's a delicious thing. It's a vegetarian lattice slice in a rich chicken sauce. <coughs> so, if it didn't have the rich chicken sauce, warm. It, uh, it would be ideal, wouldn't it? So there you are. Anthony's quite right. What is normal now, guys? Can everybody share, please? Share, 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 share. Um, absolutely. Give us your chats. Who have we got here? David McPhail. You've just joined us. Thank you, friends, says the wonderful Darren Baird. Not at all. Dinky do, Darren. Always lovely to have you with us. Welcome, welcome, I say. Scotty, are you on a tag or something? Got to be in by 8 p.m. No what relief. You mustn't judge everybody by your standards. We don't all have your lifestyle, you see. So um, you've got to think about that. I've, I'm on a hashtag, and I've got to be in by 8 p.m. <laughs> welcome, 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 welcome. Uh, please forgive my informal attire, but you will understand with the temperatures through the roof. You know, absolutely. Uh, so there, and the studio is very, very warm. Big lights, you see. Quite cool lights, that's fantastic. I can now put my hand on a bulb. Don't try that at home now. These are cool LEDs. That was for entertainment purposes only. Of course, I'm sitting in my pants with two fans on. What are the names of your fans? And are they just fans because you're sitting in your pants? So there you are. Um, are you... Oh, oh yes, we just read that fantastic dinky-doo. Who have we got here? Come and join us. Tony McAfee is a fine musician. John Marshall, up you get. Minty McGuinness. There we are. Julianne Scott joined us. Julianne Scott. How lovely to have you with us. Excellent, Julie. There we are. Nothing on but the music, says Joseph. Absolutely. Remember the James Bond film? You might at least give me something to wear. And he gave her a pair of high heels. Hi, Tony. This is everybody. Thank you. Guys, can we tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10? Taps off, Scotty. We've seen it all before. Oh, absolutely, Acos. But I would not subject not just one nation, but all the nations of the world to Scotty McClure without his top on. Although I was quite a pin-up in my day. I've seen that, Betty, says Catherine. Absolutely. Must be big pantsy, cause I'm sitting in an armchair and it's much bigger than my underwear, says Ian429. Very pleased to hear it. Long shanks, Leonard, up we get. Danny McDade, everybody. The, is this no some weather, says the wonderful David Lafferty. Hope you and Mrs. are well and the dogs in the hot weather. The wee dog is just spread-eagled in the kitchen floor. He's just flat out 
He is absolutely out of puff in this weather. We so. So there you are. It's wonderful. He's got lots of cool water and the kitchen's quite cool. Anybody got the old stone floor in their kitchen? They're quite nice and cool. Anybody got a stone floored kitchen? A kitchen with flag flooring? No heating when you are wee. All right, Scotty. Hope you're well, big man. Rab Hill. Great to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, can everybody on both channels, Rab, we're also on YouTube and we're live streaming right now. And uh, can everybody share with their respective, um, their respective tubes? There we are, the respective people. Uh, Boris Johnson continuing to do a good job for the SNP. I'm so glad to be staying in Scotland. Yes, he is. He was doing a beauty the other day. He was saying he thought that Scotland should pay for things itself. And I thought, absolutely. And it should also hang on to its income and not subsidise the rest of the UK with its uh, 60 billion upwards. Tony Wade, hello Scotty Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us, Tony Dinky Doo, or Wade Tony, as you are calling yourself. Fantastic. Nice to have you with us, La. Can we all tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 and let everybody know that McClue is live now, guys? Very, very important. Très important, as we say en français. Uh, Ian Kerr's watching on Facebook. Can you play a hymn in the organ? A bit of Walk in the Light. Yes, Thomas, you know your stuff, don't you? You know your religious music. I suspect you are a church man. I think you regularly turn up at Mass. Would I be correct, Thomas Peden? There we are. Just all I can say is don't get behind me at confession. Uh, local, normal, equals status quo. Delta social change. Plus prediction of a new status quo. A coefficient of past perceptions. Lol. Greedy. You're a top man. This is Greedy Beckle, guys, who joins us from Canada, from Nova Scotia, and out near Halifax. Uh, I said that, Greedy, because it's easier for people to understand. And uh, he understands about Cape Breton fiddling. Fantastic. Well said there, Scotty. This is Ian Johnston. Absolutely, Ian. Shout out to Danny, please. Scotty is a top man. He is Thomas. There we are. Hi, Grady. This is Catherine. Oh, yes, yeah, Scotty. I just realized that my account is Weed Tony, but it's Tony Weed. Absolute Tony. Lovely to have you with us. I sort of clocked that one. Have you seen the poster in the church on the halfway at Camber's Lang? It says, Halfway to Heaven. There we are. No, it's fantastic. I saw one on a church in Carlisle. And it said, um, come and join us. Remember, Jesus was a joiner. Isn't that beautiful? There we go. Fantastic. Does everybody still go to church? How many languages do you speak, Scott Martin? Oh, je ne crois mais je ne parle pas français très vite, si tu parles longtemps. Peut-être je comprends. Uh, sprechen Sie Deutsche? Nein, nicht Deutsche sprechen. Ich bin ein Auslander, nicht verstehen. There we are. Ha! Come in the house, will John Cooper T. Hibben? Private, private. That's for Danya. So there we go. Fantastic. Hello, Catherine, says Grady. Grady is so welcome. What a nice man. Gordon Hadley is watching Dinky Doo. Gordon, lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClue live on Facebook. Live. Absolutely. Does everybody know this is live? Can you tell everybody, please? Just put above it, this is live, by the way. Tom MacArthur's watching Dinky Doo. Tom, always lovely to have you with us. Gordon Hadley, Dinky Doo. Scott says, brilliant. Absolutely. Did you like that, Scott? Kamara ha u hachamachi. Falchi, falchi, kida mili falchi. Don, agus live stream, agus YouTube, agus Facebook, agus Scotchach McClough. There we are. What about that one, Scott? Did you get that one? There was a sign at the cobbler saying, We can mend your heels, but only God can save your souls. Tony, I didn't realise that I was being funny. I think they were a bit fed up with me at the cobbler's once, because I'd worn my big leather shoes right down, and I took them out a paper, paper bag, and I said, Can you do anything for these poor old souls? And he went, Like this. 
You know, that's sort of idea. You know when somebody's heard the joke all the time? I, was gonna, I worked at a bank once, and people used to come in, and uh, when you'd be counting notes behind the bandit screen, you'd be counting and counting the notes. You look up and they go, ha, ha, just thinking of you, any spares there? <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry, sir. Have you any <laughs> any notes to spare? Are you throwing any away? <laughs> and our accountant, who was very, 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 very long-suffering and very even-tempered, was standing, making up cash one day. And this guy goes, oh, have you any spare? He said, no, sir, I can assure you we do not have any spares. And if we did, we certainly would not be able to issue them to the likes of yourself. Oh, <laughs> fantastic. You've been with the bank 40 years. I don't mean to be the heel, but these damn souls are a real butha. Greedy, fantastic. Butha. Is that a butha or was it bother? There we go. I need to a comfort break, guys. Whew. I told you to tell me. See, at this rate, I think the beard might be coming back off again. And uh, so there we are, wonderful stuff. Now, we've got a Gordon Irvin Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. Scotty, you're starting to look like Captain Bud's eyes, says Andrew. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Barry Corkendale, lovely to have you with us. Um, Graham McCulley, Dinky Doo, Scotty. How do you rocking the beard, by the way? Welcome, welcome, I say. If you've just joined us live on Facebook, we're also live streaming live on YouTube right now simultaneously youtube.com forward slash user forward slash scotty mcclue one there we are billy hunters joined us dinky do billy lovely to have you with us give us a few thumbs up guys and we're live by the way any doubting thomas is there um stare that is wait scotty have you ever stayed in a star hotel stare in a star hotel i don't mean uh so what have we got here sorry it's back to cold and rainy next week, says Lee Fly. You'll need the beard to keep you warm. I know. We'll be shivering, shivering in the cold. Ian Quinn, evening, Scotty Dinky Doo. Good evening to all. Full steam again. Ian Quinn, wonderful to have you with us. And full steam to you, sir. Always great. Haven't got the photo, by the way. Meant to have it. Uh, evening, Scotty Dinky Doo. Good evening to all. And uh, Ian Quinn, I uh, where did I put that? Oh, no, I think I've... Put it to the side. I was going to have something. I was going to show you not to worry. We shall meet again. So five star flipping keyboard. A five. Have I stayed in a five star hotel? What a relief. I toured the whole of the UK for four years. Right. Theatrically. And my life was spent in hotels. My whole life was spent in hotels. And because I used to do the bookings. We used to get some very good deals and very often would stay in a five-star hotel at an excellent rate. Because there were so many of us. A dinky do Ian Q, gentlemen, salut, says uh, the wonderful Grady Beckel in Canada. 429 and Lee Fly, dinky do, says Ian Quinn. Fantastic, Ian, lovely to have you with us. Now we had some questions from the other day. Oh, yes. Somebody has sent me a picture of the Duchess of Hamilton in Lamont's Dry Dock in Greenock. I think it might be 1968, unless you went in a lot, because I took a black and white photo with a camera I'd got for a shilling at a jumble sale. Do you remember proper jumble sales when you could pick up a genuine bargain? I once picked up a beautiful hacker transistor radio from Maidenhead in Berkshire in the days when Britain made the finest stuff in the world, like British Dynatron stereos and that sort of thing, and um, all that Philips radios and Bush, all that sort of wonderful stuff. Anyway, um, and Pi, Pi from Cambridge. Remember Pi, P-Y-E. And um, anyway, I um, got this beautiful hacker radio, and it was two pounds. The lady at the jumbo sale, I said, how much? She said, oh, I'd need a couple of pounds for that at least. I said, there you go. And I had it for 20 years. I gave it away to a friend to do it up. 
and I think they were like wee mechano kits. It ended up in bits, and I never got it back. But I was telling a friend about it, and I said, how much do you think I paid for it? And he went, with or without the batteries? Because <laughs> the batteries were these big power packs. What were they called? Were they PP9s or something like that? And you press studied the top. No, I think the PP9 might have been shorter. Uh, the Hamilton was in Lament Dry Dock. A lot of these right up to 1970. So I saw in 68. And this picture uh, said yesterday it showed her stern. A lovely round cruiser stern or more of a, what would you have called it? Um, what would you have called that stern? It's definitely a cruiser, but it was slightly, I think it was slightly angled that way, was it not? So there were a cruiser canoe, maybe, the Hamilton stern, cruiser canoe stern. Is that possible? Who knows about sterns and boats? Anyway, um, long story short, uh, it was a very clear picture of three screws which I didn't know about. So I think she might have had the same arrangement as the Queen Mary II. Now the Queen Mary. The Hamilton had a counter stern. Now the counter stern goes that way, does it not? Was it not more like that? So there we are. Anyway, um, it, but uh, was that not? No, 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 no. The Jeannie Deans had a counter stern, didn't she? Am I not right? Uh, so the Hamilton account is it didn't look like that. Uh, anyway, I will I will go with it. Yes, now I know what you mean. Cut away in below. Yes, I'm going at the top bit. Got you, Ian. Right. Anyway, three turbines with the middle one with the amidships turbine have been ahead only. So there we are, because I think that was the arrangement with the Mary. So there you are. Tell me what you think about that one, Ian Quinn. Takes an expert like yourself. Here's all these beautiful people here. Tony McAtee, tell Tom Peden I found you online. Love it. Dinky do, dinky do. Tony McAtee, we knew you would love the live stream. Um, have to go for now, Sir Scott Marta. Thank you for all that you do. Scott, what a top man you are. Mwah. Take great care of yourself and dinky do. Uh, got to go for now with social distancing, so you're fine on here. Um, Tony McAtee, jumble sale, I know all about that. Folk that got dressed for a jumble sale, oh absolutely you could get dressed. I used to get ties and stuff out of them. Hello Scotty, how are we tonight? I made it, hello everyone, hope you're all well. Beautiful silk ties for two shillings and things like that, fantastic. Scotty, you are really nice, you're definitely my favourite podcaster. Tony Wade, I thank you. Tony, tell us uh, roughly where you're based. Dr. Joseph, Brian, Dinky Do, hello, hello Dr. Brian, lovely to have you with us, and welcome, 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 are you an allopathic doctor? All the turbines, centre screw ahead only, wing screws manoeuvring, and full speed. Now, ah, so could the centre screw do full speed as well? But she had no astern, so there we are, so she would open up. See, I remember, I actually remember, I don't like the term greaser because it sounds, uh, you know, as if it means, you know, somebody fell down. These guys were brilliant, operating what was effectively just a big steam valve on its end, sideways, <sighs> spinning them and letting the high pressure steam in and out because a turbine blade, you'll have seen them, Ian Quinn, but it's, that's a turbine blade. Right, so you're talking about maybe about three to four inches, I would have thought. Centre screw full ahead only. Ah, so would you only engage the centre screw when you were going hard ahead with the other two? Yes, I'm a very good doctor, especially during this time. Ah, Dr. Brian, we thank you, yes, for everything you are doing during this time. I was just checking if you were a doctor of physics or a... Um, uh, an MBCHB or whatever. I'm sure you're a very good doctor. All doctors are doing a wonderful job and we thank you on behalf of a grateful public. Scotty, I'm shattered after that walk in Air Gore Woodlands. Beautiful place. Very easy to pass if you didn't know it exists. Is it near to Craigie College? Is it at the back there? No? 
So there we are. Do tell us, Kareem. Kareem, if you're too tired to watch, we will understand because you already watched McClue in the morning. And we had two hours this morning and it was superb. I've been getting accolades all day. Hello, Scotty. How are we tonight? Made it. Hello, everyone. Hope you're well, says Kareem on Facebook Live. Kareem's watching. Jim Thompson's watching. Jim. Dinky Doola, one of my favorite people. Superb. Can we get sharing and sharing and sharing? Comfort break again. Thank you, Stuart. Oh, oh, oh. Wonderful. Right. I'm from Greenwich, Scott here. Tony Wade, of course. Absolutely. I'm just checking it was the same one. Indeed, Scotty, alongside kept the centre, screw ticking over, saved the turbines condensing. Right, so she was just turning slow ahead in the centre, and the other two were just sitting. Now, this would make sense, because when I observed the Mary, I knew the Mary had three screws, because I've seen them in the clear water as I was saying to and when I observed the Mary sitting at Weems Bear Pier in a hot summer's day, clear water, beautiful blue, blue turquoise water, gorgeous Weems Bay. And um, <clears throat> I think I could see the center, crew, center screw spinning, but when she was leaving, it stopped and the outers were brought in. Would that be right? So they wouldn't then use it. Zzz, turbines, no wonder Kareem's off, says the water relief. Water relief, you've learned a lot from me, so don't you dare tut 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 tut. You you just don't need turbines in the cannon gate. Um, hi Scotty, hope you're well. Tony and Chesterfield here. Tony Slater, it's been a long while since you were ruling the airways in this neck of the woods. Tony Slater. It's been 23 years, and what a wonderful time. No, now, wait a minute, it's not, because I came back on to Magic in 2002 and stayed till 2004, so it's been 16 years since I ruled the airwaves in Sheffield. But obviously, Hallam FM, big, powerful FM signal right across the city. Magic, medium wave, so summer's night like tonight, you probably hear it in Edinburgh. Um, ah, Watery, come on, we'll get you converted. Absolutely, in Quinn. Don't take any nonsense off Watery. He's had a huge education out of McClue over the years. There we are. If you're watching on Facebook Live, Dinky Do, come and join us. Excellent stuff. There we are. Wonderful. Uh, leading Leaf, says Grady. Absolutely, Grady. Guys, can we go sharing again, please? Very important. Share, share, share it to share, share it to share it to share. I'm going to have to just move you along a tiny, oh, a tiny bit, guys, pardon me. There we are. What's that doing in there? Oh, that's better. There we are. That'll make a difference to the guys. They had the speakers plugged in. They'll be wondering what on earth's going on. <laughs> right, I'm just letting everybody know that we're live there. And uh, I'll post that. That's wonderful. Thank you very much, folks. Lovely. To have you with us and dinky do there we are how's jim thompson doing are you all right jim lovely to have you with us i've lost count to many stations i've phoned you on what a relief you used to follow me around did you not phone sheffield as well uh it was wonderful to hear you though i have to say at the risk of swelling your head uh scotty it's near a place called mochlin brackets failford closed brackets Scotty, I wouldn't miss if you paid me. Lol, I love it all with everyone sharing experiences. Kareem, you're such a top man. We're also, as you know, live on Facebook. Terrific idea. So there we are. What a relief. What other stations can you think of? I remember taking a call from you, right? It was making me homesick. Uh, although I shouldn't really say that because... McClure is a child of the universe, so everywhere is my home. Wonderful stuff. Hello, Scotty. How are we tonight? Hello, everyone. Hope you're well. Uh, so there we are. Mochlin. I know Mochlin. Now, Mochlin is the home of Pussy Nancy's Tavern. And, of course, Burns frequented Mochlin. Wonderful. 
I remember somebody asked me the other day about, did you ever play, um, you know, knock somebody's door running away? And that game, if it can be called a game, it's a, an act of minor vandalism, of course, an irritant, but uh, children have been at it for centuries, and it's got different names in different places. And in central Scotland, Stirling and Falkirk, it's called Knock Door Run. In the west of Scotland, it was known as Ring Bang Scoosh. And uh, chap the door and run away. And in air deepest Ayrshire, it's known as Chappy Knocky. And I said, what do you call it in Ayrshire to this girl? She said, Chappy Knocky. And I said, that sounds like a place in Ayrshire. <laughs> Chappy Knocky. Where's he free? He's free, Chappy Knocky. Xylem and Flim will carry you to the light watery, says Greedy. So there we are, Greedy knows his stuff. Knock a door run, says Glenn Peacock. Absolutely, unless you get caught. Oh my goodness me. Right, what have we got here? There's a bit of sharing going on. Two seconds, I'll just have to move you along a wee bit. I'll try and keep you close to me so I don't lose you. Hello, everybody there. We're live. Live. Right, there we go. Because some people, I think, on Facebook think, oh, no, that'll be one of these watch parties he does. That's what it'll be. It'll not, it'll not be. It'll not be live. And somebody got annoyed at somebody doing that one night. They said, look, could you stop asking if this is live? It'll say live on it if it's live. If it doesn't say that, then it's, it's a watch party. There you go. Um, what have we got here? Knock a door run in Lancashire. Hey, knock a door run. Nicky Nine Door says Grady in Canada. Tap door knock or postman's knock. Knock a door run says Glenn in Sheffield. So Yorkshire and Lancashire for the first time ever seem to share something. Knock a door run. Hey, knock door run. What about electric bray, Scotty? How does that work? Are the electric bray in Ayrshire on the way to Cullian Castle, am I right? On the way down there. Fantastic stuff. I loved that game as a boy. Knock door, run away, says Kareem. I know Kareem, but do you think all the people that came to the door loved it as much? There we are. I'm away to the chippy to fetch the dog a single fish. Now, watery leaf, be careful because there are bones in fish. You should know that, and the dog might not be able to, um, you know, just work out. He might not be very good at discerning. There's a wee bone there. What about kick the can? Or oh, the archie, kick the can. Anybody do hop scotch? Anybody do skipping? Watery, I'll have a pickle, please, says Kareem. Anybody want anything from the chippy? Watery's on the bell. Scott Grant, dinky do chap door run in Killy mid 70s, says Ian Johnston. <laughs> Wonderful, Ian. Fantastic. We love that. Uh, watery Oliver Pickle, please. Yes, kick the can. There we are. What about kick the can? Wonderful. Guys, we need to do more sharing. We're getting carried away with excitement here. Fantastic. This, I think, of all the wonderful streams we've done, I think this might be one of the best what do you think there we go it's just lovely having everybody oh comfort break whoa goodness sake for goodness sake there we are right so that's that and this has to be shared in a big group as well hello everybody fantastic dinky do just saying to hi to everybody on facebook here kirby says ian johnson are you from Kirby, or it was called Kirby? Oh yes, now what was Kirby, because I actually haven't played that, and it's not like Scotty McClure not to have played a street game, I can tell you. Uh, share in the group, there we are, share in the group, I'll share it to one of these groups. Right, there it goes. And we'll just let everybody know what's happening here, guys. Wonderful. Right, that's that. We're putting you back now. Can everybody share, please? Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClure. We are live just for you, saying dinky do. Um, Ambi Magic. I like kiss, cuddle, or torture. 
I always picked torture. I liked doctors and nurses because I always got to drive the ambulance. Uh, do you have your butler to come in and cool you down? Yes, Tony. Johnson is the butler. I'll give him a shout. Johnson! Johnson! Are you there? Can I have some more iced tea? Thank you. Just coming, my lord, he says. Johnson is the butler at McClure Towers. And uh, is very good. I, I hire Johnson with all the pounds you send me by tapping the dollar. You see? Wonderful. Paul Francis Carroll. Scotty, remember the time you went out to the chippy during a boring collar. Hilarious. I did. Guys, when I was live on Scott FM, a guy was boring me. And I said to the wizard, can you sit and listen to him? Don't say a word. If he swears, then cut him off and edit out the swear word. I'm going to the chippy. And I rang along the road to the chippy and got myself a small portion of chips and a pickled onion and brown sauce. Edinburgh does brown sauce. And I came back to Scott FM. And the wizard had sat in. I said, how's it going? He said, he's still talking. He's still talking. He said, I said, did you have to do it? No, I haven't said a word. I said, he hasn't sworn. No, not a bit of it. So there you are. So what about that? So I'm paying for a beleaguered butler. Uh, well, we work him as hard as we can, Grady. Remember, it's to the good. You're paying for hopefully a high quality live stream. In fact, you're not, nobody's paying at all. What are we talking about? This is free. But you've been sending five Canadian bucks. You're a very, very kind man and you've done it several times. Naughty boy. He's not the Messiah. He's a very naughty boy indeed. Can Johnson get me an iced tea as well, please? Yes. One second. Johnson! Johnson, are you there? Make that two. Very good, my lord. Kids still play Kirby here. I used to play Kirby with my kids. Love a bit of Kirby. I think it's Kirby, isn't it? Because Kirby is in Liverpool. Just outside Liverpool, Kirby. Um, I hope Johnson's working properly. Oh, gloves on. Mask. Mask on. Social distancing. He sits the tea down and then goes away. He floats Johnson. He's very, very quiet. You wouldn't know he was about. Scotty, I bought my first dab radio to listen to you in magic to avoid all the medium wave mush that appeared every night. Remember all those calls you had with Les from Dinnington. Tony Slater, he was amazing. Toad Les, aye. I'd say, right, Toad Les. He said, I'll, I'll, I'll Toad Leslie. I'll Toad Leslie. Ah, yes, you Toad Leslie. I'll Toad Les thee. Now, there we are. Iced amaretto for me. Keep your tea. Wake horse. There you are. How very, how very, very self-indulgent. How very, very decadent. Fantastic. Ruthie Adams has joined us. Dinky do Ruthie. Woo! Fantastic. Jonathan Miller's watching. Top man. Tracy Walsh is watching. Lol is taking a ball bounce off the opposite curb. Most of the times, either player wins. Got you, Ian Johnson. I didn't know that as Kirby. So there we are. I knew that as um, Bounce Ball. There we go. One bounce. I love the game Hedgy. Run through everyone's garden for as long as you can, over fences, walls, etc. I was brought up in Castle Milk uh, before I moved to Newton Mearns when I was 12. Now, Castle Milk, Karim, I know as Chateau Ole. And you have a beautiful park just at the end of Castle Milk Drive there. Very, very nice, just up from the high school. Scotty, can Wilson make me a cheese and ham and salad baguette? Glenn, it's not Wilson, it's Johnson. So there we are, Johnson. Wonderful Susan Forrest watching, Dinky Doo Susan. We're also live streaming on uh, YouTube right now, youtube.com forward slash user, U-S-E-R, forward slash Scotty McClue 1. So it's YouTube forward slash user 
forward slash Scotty McClue one. Very easy. Stevie Wilkie's watching. Steve Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. A great turnout. Ruthie Adamson. Woo! Tell Tampeden I found you. We got that. Kareem's watching both streams. Um, kick the door and run. Also tie two doors together and chat both doors in Park Heed. Ooh, Betty, that's very brave in Park Heed. Especially if you're a big Rangers supporter. Wait till we see. Woo! Oh, we come for break tonight. Having said that, we've got through the first hour. That's not bad. Do you remember Josie who used to call you magic? She was as daft as a brush. No, now, the saying is not daft as a brush, watery leaf. It's daft as a brush with nae heed. <laughs> Ruthie, dinky do. Everybody's joining us here. Fantastic. Richard Mackay. Lol, try up the hill in the drum. So there we are. Ian Johnson, yes. Up the hill in the drum. Fantastic. We played girls' bumps with a big skipping rope. You had to call fast and skip even faster. Was that when you went in, out, in, out? All that sort of idea. Scotty, you're coming on tomorrow morning again. It's going to be a horrible day. So many folk are in. Kareem, did you enjoy this morning? What did that look like? Because remember, I can't see you guys. You can see me, you know? Uh, Watery, have you been to the chippy yet? Can I have my wee pickle, please, says Kareem. Anybody else want anything at the chippy while Watery's on the bell? Ruthie Adamson says, I'm a liver puddling lady, so your Kirby reference tickled me. Thanks for the shout out. Ruthie Adamson, we love the bones of you down in Liverpool. It's fantastic. And thanks very much. Do you remember Scotty McClue used to come on the radio talking to all the Scousers, uh, tormenting the life out of everybody? And people used to ring him up, no matter how hard you were on the Scousers. They'd ring up and say, Scotty, it's, it's brilliant. You lack a breath of fresh air. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, so I wonder how Anthony Mack will not do that, remember? Uh, it's in poor taste. So there we are. Wonderful. Yes. Poor taste, Anthony. Got to have a wee bit of decorum. You're going for the top draw, so come on, you need to sharpen up your act. Scotty, if you could see the audience, you likely wouldn't dare sit there in 49. I love my audience. Somebody said, have you ever had a problem with one of your punters? I said, not in 28 years. Love them. Used to do live audiences, for goodness sake. So there we are, the watery leaf. Remember, we're not talking like that. So Tara, love a Liverpool accent, says Catherine Raven. Is that any good? So ta Ruthie, was my accent any good, love? You tell us. So fantastic. There you go. I remember I went in, I used to collect, well, I've still got them, you've seen them. I used to collect second-hand who's who's. And if I saw a big bookshop, I would go in and see if they had any. And I can remember going into a bookshop in Liverpool and said, can I help you, love? I said, yeah, I'll tell you what I'm looking for. I was looking for a who's who. And who's who? What's that? I said, sorry, it's a, it's a reference book with sort of people who are supposed to be important people in it, you know, like titled and landed people like that. What we'd have called the gentry and she went, Oh, I don't think of any of that. We don't really go in for all that round here, you know. <laughs> Is that not fabulous? I loved her for it. She did have one, though. She just didn't know. Said how much as it. Oh, you can have it, love. <laughs> Give us a couple of pounds. <laughs> Woo! Hello, Scotty and Bex. Is the wonderful J-Dog Gaming. Lovely to have you with us, J-Dog. Dinky do. Jim Fanko's watching. Jim, what a top man you are. In Greenock there with all your wonderful, wonderful Jim Fanko's YouTube channel, guys. Get yourselves on and subscribe. I had a chippy at Largs last night. Delicious. Wonderful. What do you have to do, Jim? Can you go into the chippy or do you have to wait outside and shout in the door? What's the setup? Hello, Catherine. The dog's never complained about the fish before. I know, but he might have a bone. You don't want him. And the dog would say, ah, a bone to pick with you. 
Clyde spoke to me today. Went off, off, off. <laughs> it's fantastic. I would love to speak their language. They are so clever. They understand English. I mean, you just talk to him. You go right. Come here, you. <laughs> fantastic. Woo. Say to him, darling, you're hot. Go and lie down. Mm. Yes, lie down. Hi, J Dog, says the wonderful Catherine. J Dog Gaming. What a fabulous name. Oh, they understand better than people, says Catherine. They certainly do, Catherine. Uh, I saw a lady on the train one night and she had a guide dog, a, a wee Labrador, under the seat. And uh, it gets up, of course. I know they announced the stations, but it gets up. Ready, and off she went with it. And what a rate she was going at. The dog trotting along beside her, you know, keeping an eye on her. I wonder if dogs understand Mandarin. Grady, um, what can I say to you in Mandarin? There we are. I'll, I'll think of something. I'll think of something to ask you in Mandarin. Uh, dogs do talk. I've watched Lady and the Tramp. Oh, yes. Fair point, the Archie. Does anybody remember a beautiful film about an otter called Ring of Bright Water based on Gavin Maxwell's book? Anybody remember that movie? What about the movies that were huge hits and you don't see so much of them now? I think I'll maybe, if you all send me a pound, uh, you know, and you keep doing it, I'll maybe... See if I can get a hold of a television channel and we'll make it my clue for live interactive talk on the phones. And I'll then show my favourite movies. Like I used to play my favourite music. They said it was a recipe for disaster in hit radio stations. Because one of the big things is they used to say to the jocks, uh, stop playing your music. We'll give you the music to play. We know what works because we've tested the song. And if you think when radio was at its most successful, it was when you had these proper DJ presenters choosing the music, playing what they loved and telling you all about it. There we are coming up at the end and knowing the song. Wonderful Grady Beckel has just sent five Canadian dollars. Used to be worth six and eight pins, three to the pound. Grady, that is very, 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 very generous of you. Thank you. You're a wee bit, a wee bit over generous to me. Thank you. Very kind of you. Grady is a top man. He's, this is by far not the first time Grady has sent five bucks. I think it might be the tenth time. Jakey Stations is ACOS. Quite the reverse ACOS. Speak for yourself, son. Like Babe Station, no ACOS, no. You mustn't assume everybody has the same lifestyle as you. Grady sent five Canadian dollars. He says Johnson should stay. Johnson, you've got one more night. A reprieve. You're no longer followed. Very good, sir, he says. So there we are. That's rather good. You're a good fellow. Grady, no, you're a good fellow. Thank you. I'm hoping this beautiful weather will stay. Do you get sunbundies like me? Well, Anthony, I do. I wore my jackaroo today. Do you know what your jackaroo is? So there we are. I had my jackaroo out when I was doing the grass. Just a wee square of grass. I always loved Johnson's lexicon. Oh, Grady, now you're talking lexicography. Pardon me. T... Right, how's everybody doing over here? Evening, Scotty, just back from Irvine and a wee day out and then back home to Glasgow, says Scott Bahidi. Scott Bahidi, welcome. Ruthie Adamson, many moons ago, your radio show was the highlight of my days, honestly. So interacting with you is mind-blowing. I have famous friends and I'm an entertainer myself, so I don't do starstruck usually, but see more. Hang on, Ruthie. Don't go away. There we are. Uh, but you are the exception from a starstruck scouser. Your XPS, your scouse accent, spot on. Ruthie, 
Thanks very much, love. It's just great to have you on. I'm a bit starstruck having you on, Ruthie. I can tell you that for nothing, because I know you're a big performer. Fantastic. There we are. Johnny Garvey is watching. Dinky doo, Johnny. Johnny, have you joined us live on YouTube? We're on YouTube right now. So there we are, uh, youtube.com forward slash the word user, U-S-E-R, forward slash Scotty McClue 1. Watch Into the Wild, Scotty, directed by Sean Penn. You won't regret it, oh, Ian Johnson. I love some beautiful movies. I love the Alistair McLeans. I know they're a bit sort of, you know, whoo. Right. We still didn't get the movie the other night that starts with Concord Landing. And uh, is the Jackaroo not painful? Sorry, bad joke there. It might be, Tony Mac, if you do any more of these. So the <laughs> Mrs. Mac will be giving you the Jackaroo. Hello, Scotty. Dinky do. Scotty, how are you with names? I'm terrible, but I do not forget faces. Now, who's, who's saying that? Kareem? Nope. That doesn't ring a bell. Does that? Does the name Kareem ring a bell with anybody? Um, no, I'm not. I'm not so good with with names. With uh, who said that? Oh, it was Kareem himself. Ah, uh -huh. um, I've had to open the windows to let the wind out. Not in the dog's fault. No water relief. It was not the dog's fault. Do you not remember the the old joke? I think we can tell it on air. Who's giving me money here? Who's been tapping the dollar bill at the top of Super Chat, sending me pounds? Goodness sake, I'll find out. I'll get to the bottom of this. I'll find out who you are. So there we go. In fact, what we better do, guys, is nip up to the top of Super Chat and see, see that we've got... What is going on here? See that we've got... Um, the right super chat up, you know, the one that you say it's live chat. So there we go. I've got to scroll and scroll and scroll. This uh, stream is getting very popular. It's getting, it means I've got to actually manage it. So there we are. That's the thing. I'm a manager. So there we go. Somebody said, I don't know, are you a manager? I says, well, I've managed up till now. Wonderful stuff, right there. Ah, there we are. Yes, 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 I see. Right, it's all coming back now. Oh, my page is dancing up and down. What's happened? Right, how are we getting on? Johnny Garvey, hi, Scrappy. Oh, all's well with you and the family. Watching still game at the moment. So there you go. I hope you're watching Scotty McClure. Not had my organ in a while, Scotty. Any chance of some tonight? Long shanks. Yes, I'll play your number on the organ tonight. Time to get the lovable in. Oh, I think so. What a relief. One of my best movie scenes was from the movie Deliverance. The bit where you see the disabled boy playing the banjo. Have you seen it? Yes, I think I've got the right one. Um, is it dueling banjos? No? Is that the one? So there we are. So um, who was it asked me if I was good with names again? Oh, it was Kareem. See what I just did there, guys? Did we get all that? Uh, so there we are. Right, I'll give you a tune on the organ. What would you like on the pipe organ? Right, here we go. Shove for it the organ. As we say in the northeast in Doric. That's Doric language. There's another language McClue speaks. The Doric. Right, I'm turning myself round to the organ. Are we ready? Okay, okay. Um. <laughs>
go. How about that, guys? Did you like that? Sweeting on the organ for you. Just to make your evening. Brighten up a wee bit. There we are. Utterly breathtaking, Scotty. Scotty, says Johnny Garvey. There's Ruthie. Ruthie! Lovely to have you with us. It really is genuinely an absolute privilege, darling. So there we are. Thank you. Thank you for coming on and making the show, Ruthie. You just need to walk out on the stage and everyone's just loving it. Fantastic. Scotty, do you remember the Mexican that came on to Scott FM regularly? It was fantastic. What a double act you both were. You and him were fantastic. Do you remember? Johnny, I still laugh at that wonderful, talented man, the Mexican. He was from Castle Milk. And he used to come on and he would say, Si, sí, senora. I say, Mexican, whereabouts in Mexico are you? I am from uh, Castilamilco. I said, oh, Castilamilco. I said, you're slurring your words a bit tonight, Mexican. Yes, uh, perhaps I have too many legueros. <laughs> so he would give it all that late at night. And then um, he would finish up and I would say, what is your name? And he would go, Sancho. And I would say, ah, you are called Sancho's? No, no, I have new Sancho's today. New Sancho's. And that was him. And then he would go, I, I go now. I say, you're going now, Mexican? Ha, ha, si and a me. <laughs> Is that right, Johnny? All that stuff. Now, what about my clear remembering that? You asked me, do I remember the Mexican? Do I remember? We loved the Mexican. He was a huge star. This is what McClue's about, guys. If anybody's ever wondered, what is the Scotty McClue thing about? What's this guy on about? It's to do with making stars out of people. So if you want to be a star, once we build this stream, and that's why I want you to help me build it. Once we build the stream, anybody that comes on here is a star, a superstar. Isn't that right, Ruthie, love? There you go. Love the bones of you. Now, look here. Oh, I'm roasting hot. I'm starting to sweat. Oh, I shouldn't say that. I'm perspiring. I'm glowing. There we are. Um, Betty says, it was Dueling Banjos. Great scene and great movie. I know it very well. Catherine Raven, Scotty is a legend. By the way, are you Labour or Conservative? I'm apolitical, massive O. Oh. So there we are. I don't, uh, I would like to take the best of both and drop the worst of both. Hiya mate, please, I asked last time, can I have an autograph? Massive O, you did. Now Massive O, don't think I ignored you. I was thinking about you today because I came across a Scotty McClue photo, the kind I used to sign. Yes, Anthony, so during banjos, I remember it. I remember my grandfather had an organ, you pumped both pedals. And you stopped, you pulled. I played it quite often, and piano lessons cost me two and sixpence. Now, Betty, what that was, was a harmonium. And you pumped the pedals. You had to go like crazy. Single keyboard, and you pulled out the stops. Yes, the diapason, the vox humana. Big Mappy and Mad John were cracking calls too. Oh, what relief. The whole show was outstanding. You know, nothing to do with me, to do with the people that came on. Brilliant. There we are. Scotty, is there a clip tonight? And if so, what's it about? Of course, Labour or Tory law with a bigger party in Scotland. Yes, I mean, they're kind of... Labour and Tory in Scotland are sort of branch satellites of, you know... I think we wonder sometimes what they're doing there. That sort of idea, you know. Thank you for your outstanding playing, says Kareem. Not at all, Kareem. I hope that was all right. Helping you grow the stream, says Massivo. I know you are, La, and it's appreciated. How's everybody getting on here? Shout out to Graham Lockhead, says Gary Boyd. Absolutely spot on, my friend. Got it and won. Scotty, another one for you. I'd like you to give me the definition of balls in the Scottish dictionary. I would think it would be a dance. You know, I've attended a few balls, I can tell you. A lot of them in London. The numpties half hour kept, the wains up late. Yes, what a relief, they all stayed up. Scotty, do you remember Ivor Cutler at the harmonium? I do, I do, Acos. Absolutely, very much so. Now, 
Time for a clip. What is the time? Oh, for goodness sake. Time for a clip. Right, not a clip round the ear. Remember we used to get that? I'll give you a clip round the ear, I'll tell you. Can't do that now. Against the law. And we got one as well, didn't we? Right, uh, Scotty McClure. Right, now this, guys, I'm sure you'll love. The times of year are all mocked up, by the way. Attend the balls, but don't neglect. What was that? Oh, yes, yes, absolutely. You're a miner. You're a miner. Um, you go down the mine, Gilly in the Mist. Got you. Following the white rabbit led me to furry weasels, and a dictionary entry conflating the two. Well, the white rabbit, of course, would be... Um, Lewis Carroll, Alice in Wonderland. Got a story to tell you about that. Oh, there we are. Got a little story for everything, has my clue. Sorry, guys, mucking you about here um, on the old Facebook. But I just have to get this started, and then I will know what is what. Right, so what have I got here? Yes, yes. Oh my goodness. There's so many Scotty McClure videos now, it's actually quite difficult for me to um, get the right one. There it is there. Fantastic. Now, what this is about, guys, and you'll, you'll, know, you'll know what I mean when I tell you about the time of year. So, guys, can you just bear with me? There we are. Take that out. Sorry. Put you there. Wonderful. Steady. Steady the boffs. There we are. Now, what this is about, guys, and I'm sure you'll get something here that you like. Steady the boffs. Okay. I'll just pop that back over here. I mean, sorry if I'm moving you about, folks. Don't worry, it won't be for much longer. There we are, just getting us sorted. Now, pardon me, this guy's, who's giving me more money? Stop, I'm getting pound after pound here. Goodness gracious me. It's just there to buy a hot chocolate, hitting the dollar at the top of the super chat. That's what you've been up to. Now, guys, this was St. Andrew's Day. This was done on a very, very snowy St. Andrew's Day when the snow was almost up to our waist about 10 years ago. And it gives the story of St. Andrew's Day, which a lot of Scots don't actually know. And a lot of people have thanked for this address. But here is, is here's the good bit. I was late into work and I did it on my mobile phone where was I broadcasting? To the Falklands. Yes, Commonwealth Broadcasting. I was broadcasting to the Falklands. Tony Mac says, have you ever seen Mick Miller? Yes, impersonative. I have, Tony. I've seen Mick Miller live. I know Mick. Fantastic guy. So there we are. Now, uh, I'm, going to, uh, I'm going to play you this, and I think you'll probably rather like it. It's quite a nice setup. I'm moving you about here. And so it was St. Andrew's night. This is going out to all the Falkland Islanders who were glued to their radio. So we're going out on Falkland Islands Radio on behalf of the Commonwealth to tell them about St. Andrew. Here we go. Of course, St. Andrew's Day. And with me to discuss this special day for Scotland is broadcaster Scotty McClue. How are you today, Scotty? And how is Scotland? Oh, very well, Stacey. A very, very snowy Scotland this morning, of course. I've just arrived for work about three hours late. Terrific deep snow, about two feet of it in some occasions. And of course, it's uh, holding up the whole of central Scotland. But uh, it's uh, a more important day because it's the feast day of St Andrew, the 30th of November, the patron saint of Scotland. And uh, this is Scotland's official national day when we fly our national flag, the Saltire, with the blue background of the white cross. 
Now, um, I don't know if you know about the background or your listeners know about the background to the flag, but uh, it was actually a legend about a battle in Athol Stainford in East Lothian in the east of Scotland, or Ale Stainford, and the night before the battle, King Ingus vowed that uh, if he was granted victory, he would appoint St Andrew as the patron saint of Scotland, and the legend states that he actually engaged in prayer on the eve of the battle, and in the morning they looked up and there was the blue sky with a white diagonal cross. And uh, that was the start of the Saltar flag. And of course, St. Andrew's diagonal cross was because St. Andrew wanted to be crucified on that cross rather than be crucified on the same cross as Jesus Christ, his Lord and Master. So it's essentially a Christian festival, St. Andrew's Day. And St. Andrew became the patron saint of Scotland around the middle of the 10th century, about 950 AD. But he's also the patron saint of many other parts of the world as well. St. Andrew is well known in the Ukraine, in Russia, and Romania, Patras in Greece, Amalfi, Italy, and also in Portugal. So he's managed to get himself about, and the St. Andrew's flags can be seen in the flag, the blue in the flag of Australia, New Zealand, and Nova Scotia. So the Saltire Cross, and of course, Scotland has got a national party in government at the moment. We have our own assembly in Scotland, and our government is the Scottish National Party. They are in power at the moment. Of course, they are very keen that the Saltire flag finds its feet. But uh, from going, essentially, from going from a Christian festival, St. Andrew's Day is a day of great celebration. Lots of dancing, lots of singing, lots of evenings out, lots of eating, of course, things that the Scots do terribly well. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if there were many, many Scots, Stacey, or Scots descendants in the Falkland Islands and the South Atlantic. Yeah, no, there's uh, quite a few Scots uh, down here, and um, I'm, I'm sure you'd encourage them to, to celebrate today as well. Yes, absolutely. The uh, celebration of music is very much with the fiddle and the bagpipe, but the fiddle, the violin, is the original instrument of Scotland going back to the 15th century. And uh, not long after um, Andrew's bones were taken to St. Andrew's. Of course, St. Andrew's in the east coast of Scotland where Prince William uh, went to university recently uh, and of course engaged to Kate Middleton now. That's the big news over in this part of the world. In fact, the big news throughout the world. But a celebration of St. Andrew. St. Andrew's also the home of golf, which uh, the saint himself wouldn't play because that didn't come in until the 1400s. But uh, there will be dancing, there will be singing, Scottish music, and of course the food. Um, normally reserved for Bun's Night, uh, the, the birth of uh, Rabbi Buns on the 25th of January, uh, but uh, there's always good food eaten on St. Andrew's Night, good warming food, Scotch broth, that may be haggis, neeps and tatties with the potatoes and the tomates there, but anything essentially that is an excuse to have a little bit of whiskey, so there'll be a drop of single and uh, um, other blended whiskey is being taken tonight as well in celebration. That relaxes people and um, it brings in the, uh, the fertility rites. And of course, if you go right back to the history, you'll find that uh, in parts of Germany, Austria, the Czech Republic, Slovakia, Poland and Romania, there are still superstitions that believe that the night before St. Andrew's Day, St. Andrew's Eve, especially suitable for magic, that reveals a young woman's future husband or that binds her future husband your husband to her. So all in all, a day for celebration, Stacey. Yes, yeah, so the bad weather over there isn't dampening people's spirits? Well, it is obviously very threatening, but I really think that it would be very, very unfair of me to lecture the good people of the Falkland Islands about weather systems. <laughs> So I don't think we can be seen as moaners and whingers. I think we should be seen as people who have a humility, hopefully, in the way that St. Andrew had his humility, not wishing to be crucified on a cross similar to his Lord and Master. Yeah, well, it's a very sunny uh, summer's day here, so uh, maybe that'll make you a bit jealous over there. <laughs> oh, you lucky things, yes. I'm absolutely green with envy now. I'm heading for the Falkland Islands as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, thanks a lot for... Um, talking to me today, Scotty, about, uh, about St Andrew's Day. Stacey, lovely to talk to you. God bless and um, great wishes to everybody in the Falklands and to all your listeners this morning. Happy breakfast time, I say, and happy St Andrew's Day. 
But there you go, guys. Now, that's broadcasting to the Falklands. Incredible. Now, what was so interesting about that as a, um, a, a broadcasting exercise, I was very late because of the snow, and I just had to make it all up off the top of the old bunce and uh, and get on with it fantastic uh, down the mobile phone we couldn't get into the studio or anything like that and uh, it worked an absolute treat you know fantastic stuff uh, to be fair we did borrow the bagpipes yes they are irish or even if you go way back ancient greeks had a pig's bladder with one pipe for piping in the pigs and the goats and the sheep at night uh, so there we are, yes, so there, uh, Mick Miller, the stressed announcer, reads the children's stories, very, very funny, Tony, I agree with you, the volume's good, says Catherine, are we okay, Catherine, I've realised that if I hold something that's written up, then it's backwards on Facebook, is that right, guys, but it's the right way around on YouTube, so I'll need to write stuff, I'll need to practice writing in the mirror, um, I remember that snow, the dug was only a year old, had to leap through the snow. And when it thawed, another batch came along, yes, St Andrew's Day. To be fair, we did borrow the bagpipes, borrowed them from Ireland, yes. Great bit that, says Grady. Did you like that, Grady? A great radio clip, you're always very entertaining and educational, says Tony. I bless you, Tony, I thank you. That, I think, is the purpose of a broadcaster, even if you're light-hearted information education entertainment you know what i mean so there we are thank you for that share says kareem not at all there we are it is quite a good clip that now here we've got all the wonderful people on here absolutely spot on my friend got it once as the wonderful johnny garvey shout out to graham lockhead says gary boyd bring uh, everybody onto the camera scotty another one for you I'd like to give you the definition of balls in the Scottish Dictionary. We got that one, Dinky Doo, big man. Scotty, says Ruthie Adamson in Liverpool. I have performed at a few Barnes Night charity fundraisers. I hope that makes you proud of me, Ruthie Adamson. I'm proud of you anyway. So there you are, bless you. And a big hug, uh, a virtual hug, of course, for the lockdown. Scotty, the reason I ask you, when you were at the other place, you had an intro to your show, or an ad that used to give the dictionary definition of balls, and you made up this fantastic definition. <laughs> I love it. Scotty, the of balls, you made up this fantastic definition of the Scottish version. You gave, after all, examples was that it means boss yes like you are the boss you are the boss and uh, you need to do that in the mirror says lawrence armor about the writing adam spibby higson's watching brian keswick's watching hello scotty says the wonderful brian keswick live on the old uh, the old facebook fantastic uh, we are of course uh, multi 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 streaming Go Ruth, says Catherine Raven. Ecos says the Palestinian pipes are great to hear as well as the Eulian. Yes, the Eulian pipes from Ireland, but they work on bellows, don't they? They don't work on being puffed out. Uh, even the Swedish have bagpipes, although they only rediscovered them recently. Look up Dram, pronounced Drun. Yes, and look up Holland. Look up Doodlesack. There you are, the doodle sack. Scotty, I'm going to say it and it's total murder for us all. Midges. Oh, the midges. Actually, I didn't find them so bad today, Kareem. Last night, I took the dog out late and got eaten alive. I was, you know, lying in bed scratching. What you're best to do is give your hair a good brush when you come in. I know you've um, got the old uh, the old crew cut. Uh, so there are the midges. Anybody bothered by the midges? Neeps and tatties, Scotty, you're making me hungry. Well, Captain Contagious, the neeps and tatties tend to be Burns night, but on St Andrew's night, you'll get a cock -a leaky and uh, you'll get neeps and tatties as well. St Andrew's night. 
Um, I'm always playing with my doodle sack, says Acos. Are you a Dutchman, Acos? I can tell by your cap. Uh, the Glaswegian translation of balls is buzz. I'll kick you. I'm sure you get my point. Yes, we don't need to be coarse. No. Don't need to be coarse. There we are. We do understand about that. Fantastic. Scotty, why? Uh, Johnny Garvey. Oh, wonderful. Johnny, I love the fact you're telling that, but I'll not tell it because I'll get complaints. But I know it's coming from you. And uh, I love that. Thank you for that. So there we are. Wonderful joke. <laughs> there we go. Oh, well. William Henning Jimison's joined us. Dinky doo, Bill. Fantastic. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Do we have any old wives' tales? How to get rid of midges? Yes, Karim. Uh, citronella, I think, whatever citronella is. And off they go. And you used to get um, little nylon shopping bags. And uh, you, could, you could breathe through these things. And sometimes the worst, worst, worst time. Wally Loggins joined us. Evening, Scotty. Hope you're good, my man. Absolutely. Has everybody subscribed, guys? My heart sinks when I go off air and just maybe two or three have subscribed. And it would be lovely if everybody could subscribe. We need thousands and thousands of subscribers. We need to get the word round because I know this stream will go big. So there you are. I know you can't. Just winding you up. You're a star. You're a star as well, Johnny Garvey. Top man. Beautiful dog of yours. Uh, so there we are. What have we got here? You'll be getting put in the corner any more of that. Absolutely. Hi, Wally. Even skin so soft is the best image is the green one. Oh, big advert in 429. Uh, evening, Scotty. Uh, so there we are. Best way to get rid of midges is have A, negative blood. They don't care for mine. I, A, cos. But you can't change your blood type. Lol, as long as my corner office is windows and a putting green, says Grady. Fantastic. Scotty McClure is a legend, says Glenn Peacock. I thank you, Glenn. Very kind of you. There we are. Guys, thank you so much. Who's tapping the dollar again? Tot, 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 tot. There we are. Uh, can we all have a massive share? Has everybody liked the stream tonight? Have one or two people forgotten to go to the wee thumbs up and just give it a click? To go on to the wee subscribe and give it a clip? A wee click or a clip? I do prefer you with a beard, says Lawrence Armour. I thank you, Lawrence. Very kind of you. I don't think it makes me look very old. Uh, folk, subscribe please to Scotty on YouTube. Thank you, Kareem. Yes. Let's get some proper subscribing, get them up, thousands of you, and then we will have such a beautiful stream. Folks, can you please subscribe to Scotty on YouTube? He needs us all. I need every single subscription. Kareem, very important. Lol, Grady. Comfort break. I spy with my little eye, a bit of sweat trickling down. Kareem has just put a pound in McClure's dollar bill. Whoa, Kareem. You are so generous. I think the bonnet will have to go in the wash, guys. You are so generous. Do you know the actors? Uh, it gets so hot on stage under the lights. I've had this myself. And we used to have what was called the clammy chamois. It's probably not hygienic now, but it was a chamois. Soak it, soaked in cold water and you put it on the back of your neck, the clammy chamois. And what you had to watch, Kareem, thank you for that. Kareem's just put a pound into McClure's dollar bill. A very strong skin moisturiser from the chemist works great. The midges hate it and it's not expensive. There we are. Grady says Bob Dylan has a new album up on YouTube. So there we are. Fantastic. We love it. Now, um, what have we got here? Judith Reed's watching. Dinky do. Judith, lovely. To have you with us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Who oh, I need to get a decent camera. See if I lean back on Facebook. Everything changes colour. And I look as if I've got a yellow face. There we are. Have I got a yellow face on YouTube, guys? 
Uh, more likes, please. Like, 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 do you like? Like, do you like? Do you like? Love, Bob Dylan. Anthony, thanks, says Kareem. Not at all. Fantastic. Everybody gets subscribing and loving and liking and sharing. Guys, it makes such a difference. All of you have got stacks of friends. Just share the URL for it and say, you know, subscribe to this. You, you'll get a laugh because if we can coax, and it does take coaxing. Remember, you're starting off from nothing. This is already started from nothing, remember? The yellow's probably the contrast. I need to save up. When everybody gives me a pound, I will save up. Or if somebody's very flush, you can go on to gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClure. Oh, we're about a third of, we're over a third of the way to raising our total. You'll see that and go fund me. Or paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClure. All one word. So, and then I'm going to get decent cameras and lights and get a set built. That's it. We'll make it the, the go-to show on the whole of YouTube. Why not? Nobody else is doing it. <clears throat> wonderful. The wonderful Gordon Robertson says, Hello. Sorry for lateness. Tut, 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 Gordon Robertson. But we never pull anybody up for being late because they've been punished enough by missing a moment of Scotty McClure. Yes, poor souls. <coughs> I hope you're all right, Gordon. We're not hearing as much of you as we used to. Cheers, everybody. There we are. I'll, uh, what do we got here? So I was going to tell you, the yellow is probably the contrast with the back wall. Well, the back wall is Magnolia. Does that look okay? A cost type A blood group not good for COVID-19, says Magnus. Yes, I've heard things like that, Magnus. I wasn't sure of the group. Scotty, I will need to brave it later to take the dogs out with all the midgets, midges. Yes, midge do you remember midget gems? I think you still get them. I love them. Yes, midget gems. Now, what midget gems and iced gems? Do you remember iced gems? We biscuits with icing. Captain Contagious, please continue doing this after lockdown, Scotty. It's a very good thing. Do you know, I'm beginning to think contagious. When you first start, you need to have a big set, shall we say, to actually think that this will work. And you have to differentiate from people saying, Okay, he's that full of himself, thinks he's big. You've got to drop all that nonsense and just see me as a catalyst for bringing people together around the world. And it's so beautiful when you think of the concept, right? It's not a new concept, and I've been doing it for 36 years. But uh, 28 years of the Scotty McClure late night phone-ins. 28 years on Monday. Monday night, 28 years to the day since we started. Wally Logan has given me five pounds. What a lovely, lovely soul. And he says, liked, subscribed, and here's a wee cheeky deep sea diver for your new equipment. You absolute legend. No, Wally Logan, you absolute legend. Because if we crowdfunded it, we could get it going. Yes, Scotty, and you do it so well, says Catherine. Thank you, Catherine. As you said, we can't change our blood. You can't change your blood, Magnus. It's good to wear a bonnet. Is it good to wear a bonnet in the sun? If you're a little bit short of hair on top, I've got a wee bald bit. Well, I've got a big bald bit. See, my bald bit's bigger than yours. Aha! Um... I think the bonnet, yes, you can, a lot of people wear the bonnet in the sun. See, when I was a wee boy, Tony, the bonnet was really the west of Scotland. Everyone's dad and Uncle Jimmy and Uncle Tommy, you know, and, and Uncle Connor, they all had bonnets on. The shipyards were stuffed with bonnets. So McClure and I have always worn a bonnet. And when I stayed in uh, the west end of Glasgow, uh, you know, we used to go into the butchers. And the butcher knew me as Bunnet. 
And when my friend was passing along the Great Western Road, he'd shout to the butcher in the shop window because the windies were open. It was an open window in fishmongers and butchers. And he'd shout, Ray! And he'd shout, Oh, where's Bunnett? <laughs> Mine folk used to wear a poly bag in their head in the rain, I know, but that's not good, ACOS. Poly bag's too dangerous. Catherine Raven's just given me two pounds. Catherine, that is extremely kind of you. But I do not want you forking out your hard earned. People have been so beautiful tonight. We will get the equipment. We'll crowdfund it over the years. And we'll build it up. You know what I mean? Catherine, thank you. That's very, very kind of you. I'm on YouTube now. Are you simulcasting? Gordon Robertson, we're simulcasting. We've got you on here. I think I've joined via Facebook. I'm doing fine, thanks. Scotty, you remember the day I told you your dog was underneath you at Scott FM? Tell you once again, your seat's creaking, my friend. I'm on your well. It should be able to afford a bit of WD-40. No, Johnny Garvey, you don't put WD-40 on my seat. It's my dad's old bent wood armchair, and it is creaking. You know, so I need to watch. I may be too heavy for it. And when we're rich and the stream is huge, I'll get one of these big uh, bouncy computer chairs. You know the kind. My dad used to wear a knitted hanky in his head when it was sunny. Gordon Robertson, that was the thing. I think you mean a knotted hanky. I think what's happened, the predictive text got you. I was actually thinking of putting that on tonight because the bonnet's quite warm, as you can guess. Whoa. Did you all like the clip tonight to the Falkland Islands for St Andrew's Night? You can hear these. It's fantastic, Johnny Garvey. Well done. I love your hearing. Now, John Garvey is coming on, folks. John is um, a blind gentleman, or should I say he's visually challenged, and he's the loveliest man on God's earth. And he has his own guide dog. And he phoned me one night at Scott FM. Somebody said, can you take a call from a John? I thought, what's he wanting? We're finished. We're off air. Because you used to get shattered when you had things like maybe 200 calls. And, um, you know, I mean, with 460,000 in one week, they didn't all get on air. But, you know, we took the calls. And I said, yeah, I'll speak to him. No problem at all. So I says, uh, hello. He says, hello, Scotty. It's John here. Have you got a dog in the studio? I said, why do you ask? Just in case he was from the dog police or something. And uh, he said, I, I know you have. I can hear his collar medal every night. So John's hearing is enhanced. And I can remember I was doing um, a show in a school for the blind. And we had the big van outside with all the scenery and everything. And... Um, this wee lad comes on and says, can I see your van? You'll love this, John. And I thought, that's an interesting choice of words. Can I see your van? So anyway, I said, yes, here it's here. Anyway, he walks along the van beside me and he goes, whoa, some size of a van, that. I said, do you like it? Oh, it's amazing. Can I, can I sit in it? I said, of course you can sit in it. So up he gets, he clambers into the cab. I, was, I, I drove this rig. He clambers into the cab and then he goes, he plays about the steering wheel and then he says, right, I better go, there's my bus. And I thought, how does he know that? I found out that because I wasn't used to observing him, he'd walked with me running his hand ever so lightly along the length of the van, just tracing his hand, middle finger, ever so lightly. And he got the length of the van. And then when he said he'd better go, his bus was coming, he heard the diesel engine and knew what his bus sounded like in terms of diesel chatter. Now, is that not outstanding? So there you go, Johnny Garvey. You'll like that one. Robert Rovers, good evening, Scotty dinky -doo. Craig Cameron's watching. Welcome, welcome. Uh, we're live on YouTube if you want to come and join us. YouTube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClue. Russ Abbott with the knotted hanky. Oh, do you remember Russ Abbott? Eh? Cause he was brilliant. Do you remember he used to play Basildon Bond? That's a forgiving chair, not a faulty softness, says Grady Beckle. It is. 
it must be this chair will probably be late 90, early 1900s, so probably just after the First World War, and McClure's sitting on it. And when people knock our wonderful royal family, they've got furniture that goes back so far that in actual fact you, you don't know how far back it goes. And King George was once rehearsing the Christmas broadcast, King George V, the present Queen's grandfather, who introduced the Christmas broadcast. And it was on the radio. Somebody said, have you just like to sit down, Your Majesty? So his great big desk at Sandringham. And he pulled up his chair, his antique chair. Bang! It collapsed with him. And he, he's the king sitting on the floor of Sandringham House. And everybody, of course, rushed over to get him. And at first they didn't know, because you shouldn't really touch the king at all. But they're going, are you all right, Your Majesty? And he sat there and went, well, God bless my soul. His chair collapsed. We would have been effing and jeffing. You know, isn't that not gorgeous? So there we are. Ross Abbott, that's amazing. Tony Mack, you generous, generous boy. Stop. You need your pennies. Thank you so much. Tony's just put two pounds. He's tapped the dollar bill at the top of the super chat. I'll find out who you all are. I will find that out and I will find out who's giving me this money. What we will do, guys, I think we probably will end up uh, crowdfunding as the years go by for equipment. And I'll just say to you, I need lights for £200. And you say, that's fine, it's on its way. You know, and we'll get a pound each, 200 of you, a quid each. Off we jolly well go. Right, why am I hearing this volume? I'm going to turn myself down. Sorry about that, you beautiful Facebookers. Guys, it's time to... For goodness sake, that's better. Sorry, the volume was up there, guys. It's clearer on YouTube. I know Gordon Robertson now. Are you not the man? I can see more of you on the Facebook. Yes. Last week, Anthony Mack, thank you for that. Last week, Gordon, I forgot about the Facebook stream, and I took my bonnet off and sat, and I was checking things after the broadcast, and I sat and I went, whew. And I did, so I didn't actually make a noise, I don't think, and I didn't speak. Because what if I'd said a naughty word and didn't realise you were all watching me? Payday the morrow, you'll need to wait. It costs not at all, it's free, you don't owe me a thing. Tony says, I watched the King's Speech film, it was brilliant. Well done to George for getting over his speech impediment. Yes, I think the doctor that helped him was not a doctor, he was called Lionel Logue. Yes, L. Logue speech therapist, an Australian gentleman who had uh, cured and helped to heal all the boys coming back from the First World War who were shocked with with um, shell shock and everything and couldn't speak. <laughs> Kareem says, pardon me, Scotty will be on tomorrow morning and if so what time? Does 10 o'clock suit everybody for the morning podcast? We did the first one this morning. So there we are. So, 10 o'clock, does that suit? I ask you, what have we got here? There we are. Greedy says, Kokaliki should be good for your marriage. So there we are. Tot, tot, totity, tot. Uh, there we go. Fantastic. Thank you for outstanding playing, said Karim there. Went wonderful. What's happened? What's gone up here? What's going on? How can you? How can I be heard? I have put that mic down. Oh, it's gone up again. Sorry, we must have touched it. There we go. Right. Oh, we're running out of um, power. We'll have to go soon anyway, but we're running out of power. Sorry, I have to plug you all in. Can't believe it. Oh, we use up so much power on here. So much power. Fantastic. Evening, Scotty Dinky Doo. Uh, further than the furthest that goes that far, Handman Bruce, it's roasting. So there we are, fantastic. Yes, Johnny, we do have the creaking chair. Liverpool 10 minutes away from winning the Premier League. Have you been watching football when McClue's on, Glenn Peacock? You know that's a big, big naughty, naughty, naughty. 
I'll be there tomorrow morning, Scotty, to say hello to everyone. And Scotty, I'll say good night. Dinky do and stay safe. Midget time with the dogs. Lol, haha. I think you mean midgy time. I think the predictive text got you there. Ten suits fine, says Gordon Robertson. Gordon, you weren't able to join us this morning, is that correct? Because I wouldn't like to think I'd missed you. So there we are. So can we buy shares, Magnus? I know what you mean. Could you imagine it? You say, I remember buying a pound's worth of shares when my clue was just starting ten years ago. And now it's worth four billion pounds. <laughs> All that kind of stuff. If you we knew then what we know now. Night night Kareem, says Gordon Robertson. Night night La. I'll be there in the morning too, says the wonderful Catherine Raven. Catherine, bless you. I saw the great drama about Dr. Gutberg. He was a German doctor at Stoke Mandeville Hospital who helped injured soldiers coming back from the war and helped start the Paralympic Games. Have you seen it? I haven't, Tony. You're a great man for information, education, and entertainment. Good for you. I'll tell you a famous man. Has anyone ever heard of, was it Archibald Mackindoo? And I think he dealt with rebuilding the faces of pilots who had been bombed in the Second World War. And I think he was at Canisburn Hospital in Bear's Den. Am I right? Has anybody ever heard that? Uh, midget time, wee buggers, says Gilly in the Mist. Good night, Kareem. Did you know, didn't know you were on this morning, says Gordon. Went out early for a walk. Got back in at ten. Well, there you are. You should have got your notification. Sorry, Dr. Gutenberg. Well, I'll tell you, another very famous Gutenberg was the one that did the first printing of the Bible. The Gutenberg Bible. Yes, at the time of the Reformation, very brave. And our other great printer in Britain was William Caxton. Lol, Grady. I'll have to wait until tomorrow as I play it loose with the winds of change. Absolutely, fast and loose. That's you for us. That's you, Grady. Well, it's a bit early for you, Grady. 10 o'clock in the morning, British summer time. What time do you have now, Grady? I know I'm always asking this. See, when we build up the stream, guys, I'll have clocks with the time in Tokyo, in Beijing, in um, Christchurch, in Wellington, in Sydney, in Rome. Scotty, great show. Glenn Peacock tonight has been an outstanding show. I thank you, beautiful people. Canisburn Hospital did specialise in that area, Scotty says, Ian429. See if you if there's an Archibald Mackindu, a uh, maxofacial surgeon. Uh, four behind you, says uh, Grady. Right, so you're now sitting at six o'clock in the evening, am I correct? Just coming up to six. 6.57.03. So... No, it's too early for you. Six o'clock in the morning, Grady. Knowing you, you'll probably get up and come and join us just to prove me wrong. Night, Scotty. Great show, says the wonderful Anthony. Thank you, Anthony, and thank you for your wonderful generosity. Thank you to everybody who's tapped the dollar bill tonight. Correct, 5.57. Right, so there you go, so six o'clock. So, for you, 12 hours from now, McClue will be popping up again. Uh, I'll just be going to sleep, insomnia. Well, if you watch Scotty McClue, that might help your insomnia. We might put you to sleep. So there we are. A lot of wee ones used to, their parents let them hear the radio at night. They shouldn't really have, because it was quite wild, but the kids loved it. Scottish children, you see. Your clocks would be a nightmare when it's time to turn them back. What a relief. Nothing is a nightmare to McClue. We will sort it. We are solutionists. Not problems. That's more like it, Catherine. Betty McIver. Dinky do. Dinky do, all you beautiful people. Kareem, good guy, says M. Andrews. Father of the father stick goes. Good evening, Scotty. Dinky do. Guys, join me tomorrow morning on YouTube at 10 o'clock sharp. And we'll do it all again. Put your toys away. I say, fantastic. Wonderful stuff. 
and uh, there's a time difference between Glasgow and Edinburgh. Edinburgh's 50 years behind Glasgow. <laughs> Gordon Robertson, you naughty boy, you bring my clue trouble. Uh, I fell asleep listening to an old live feed last night. Catherine, people say I see myself as a bit of a shouty person sometimes. I think shouting, shouting. People say it's very soporific. It's very relaxing listening to Scotty McClue's chat. So there we are. Gordon, says Grady Beckle. So there we are. Fantastic. Grady, I thank you for everything. Gordon, lovely to have you with us. Awesomeness, says Grady. Thank you, dear Scotty. Catch in the morning, big man. Glenn Peacock, take great care of your dear self in Sheffield. To all of you right across the globe, this is Scotty McClue saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. Take great care of yourselves. Look after your wonderful selves. Stay fabulous. Stay safe. And love being you. It's a lovely thing to be. So there you go. Thanks to both streams tonight. The wonderful Alice King, Ruthie Adamson. Dinky-doo, darling. Love the bones of you. That's it, folks. Good night. God bless. I'll sing you the song. Goodbye, everybody, goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody, a little thing, no revoir, and a cheery o. Good night, God bless you, folks. Dinky do, and to la lads. Right, Facebook, stick your tongue out and say ta ra. Ta da! Wonderful. <laughs>